The KMV sketch, K minimum value sketch, is another estimator, like the Flagelli Martin sketch, to estimate the number of distinct elements of a multiset. So we have a multiset, and we want to know n, which is the number of distinct elements. Of course, we don't know n, right? It is like the idea you want to estimate it. So what KMV is doing is to take a hash function, which maps the elements uniformly. This is important for the estimator to work. So the hash function maps the elements uniformly to 0 and 1 interval. So 0 and 1. The illustration shows the interval. And the KMV sketch, or the synopsis, how you also say, consists of the k smallest of these hash values. So the smallest hash value we call u1, the second smallest u2, and the k smallest uk. And then, how does the estimator perform the estimation? The um, estimated value n, denoted with n hat here, is k minus 1 divided by uk. So that means we take k smallest values, uk is the k smallest, k is a parameter, we can set it to, um, to influence the accuracy of the estimator, and then the estimate value, n hat, is k minus 1 divided by the k smallest value, uk. Right? Now if you're wondering what this ub means, this indicates that this estimator is unbiased. Unbiased means, well, estimator is unbiased if uh, the expected estimate is the exact value. So there's no bias that would influence, in theory, that the estimated value is the right one, the correct one. So why does this work? In the illustration, you see again our 0 and 1 interval. And it's important to remember that the hash function is uniformly placing these uh, input data objects, our ABC and so on, that we want to know how many distinct ones of these we have. This uh, displacement is done uniformly. If you're doing this uniform placement of n, assuming that we know n for a moment, n is what we want to know, right? But just assume we know it for a moment then the dist uh, distance between two points within that 0 and 1 interval is 1 divided by n. Yeah. The estimator, as we said earlier, would take k minus 1 and divide it by the k smallest value. Why is this working? What is this value? Well, it's UK, right? It's the k smallest value from our values that we store. But what can we can we estimate how large UK is? Well, if the distance between these individual blue points here, our values hashed into 0 and 1, is 1 divided by n, and we, we are interested in the k smallest of these, then UK can be estimated as k times 1 divided by n. So here we see the expected value of uk, so what we would assume to get, is k times 1 divided by n, right, what I just said. And now we can um, solve this equation for n, and then we get that the estimator of n is k divided by uk, just, just um, yeah, solving this by, by n. And we are done. This is why the estimator works. right? So we, we, we are keeping these k smallest values, so we know uk, we don't know n, but we know uk, and we know k, and then the observation is that k times 1 divided by n is exactly what we would expect uk to be, and then solving this by n gives us our estimator. Now you see, if you look closely, also what we have said on the previous slide, here we would have a k minus 1, so what's the difference? If you're taking the k, then the derivation here is very simple and intuitive. But then you have a biased estimator. That means the expectation of this estimator is not the exact value. But theory shows that if you're taking k minus 1 instead of k, then the estimator 
is an unbiased estimator. This is what I mentioned on the previous slide. But if you're taking k divided by uk, um, it will be also like kind of working, but it will have a bias. But um, this is probably only like a theoretic problem for our lecture here. It doesn't matter if you're using one or the other, unless we, of course, say in the course or in the exam that we would like to see the formula or the derivation. Um, if, if you want to have the derivation, then of course we only want to see the, the biased one, not the unbiased one. So here's some small example. I just took characters from A to Z, applied MD5 hash function, and interpreted the outcome as a floating point number between 0 and 1. And it should be sufficiently uniform in 0 and 1. And here you see all the hash values of these 25 characters. And depending on what k is, we take uh, the corresponding position within this sorted uh, array as our uk. For k is, um, let's say, 5, uk corresponds to 0 0.382. This is this value here. And then our unbiased estimator will tell us that um, based on this information, our set contains 10.471, uh, so 10 uh, number of distinct elements. And you see then, because we have here a set of 26 distinct values, that the estimate is not super good. But if you're increasing k, the estimate will get better and better. So in the end, we'll come reasonably close here 23 and 25 and 26 to our number of um, yeah of characters, distinct characters that we that we know of in our set, 26. Of course, the larger k is, the more effort you have to spend, the more um, information you have to keep. But then also the estimate tends to get better. It's not true if you're taking a different value um, for k that the estimate will always be better, as you can also see here in the numbers. But um, the tendency is um, for sure that if you have more k, then um, the estimate gets better. Now you wonder yourself, perhaps, why do you keep k smallest values? Why don't you keep just the k smallest value? Because in the end, we're only operating over this um, uk, right? So the idea is, if you have two kmv synopsis, so two times um, this um, procedure done for two different multisets, and you want to know how many of these um, um, of these values exist in the union of the two a and b, and then we can just take the smallest of these two times k values that we have. Right? So we make a union over the uh, over the k values of our sketch, and then we can derive from this again using the same estimators an estimate for the number of distinct elements in the union. That's the idea. And the authors have also derived estimate for the intersection and so on, but uh, this is going too far now for our course.